How was it that the man who hosted the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in Medina would be buried in Constantinople 40 years after the death of the Prophet? This is the story of Abu Ayyub al-Ansari. Abu Ayyub, birth name, was Khalid bin Zayd bin Kulayb bin Thalba, was a member of the Ansar, of whom were the people of Yathrib, later known as Medina. In the time of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and who had welcomed the Muslims who had been exiled from Mecca to Medina. When the Prophet arrived in Medina, he got off his camel, and the camel was commanded by Allah to go to the house where the Prophet would stay. The house the camel had gone to was none other than right in front of Abu Ayyub al-Ansari's house. Abu Ayyub al-Ansari had two floors in his house, and he decided to empty the top floor so the Prophet could stay. However, the Prophet decided to stay in the bottom floor, so if he had visitors, it would not disturb Abu Ayyub al-Ansari or his wife. However, Abu Ayyub was so afraid of walking above the Prophet, saying how could he be above the Prophet of Allah? After the first night, Abu Ayyub al-Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said that he could not sleep thinking that it would be disrespectful that he fall asleep above the Prophet of Allah. This shows the love not only Abu Ayyub al-Ansari had, but that all the Ansar had towards the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Soon after this, the Prophet accepted to move on the top floor, pleasing Abu Ayyub al-Ansari. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, would stay at Ayyub al-Ansari's house for around seven months before moving right next to the house of Ayyub al-Ansari and becoming his neighbour. Abu Ayyub narrated what a perfect and blessed neighbour to have, referring to the Prophet وسلم. Ayyub al-Ansari also had a distinguished military career. Much of his time was spent as a warrior, and it was said of him that he did not stay away from any battle the Muslims fought in from the time of the Prophet to the time of Muawiyah, unless he was engaged at the same time in another battle. The last campaign ever embarked by the Sahaba of the Prophet وسلم, was in the first siege of Constantinople. Note that in an authentic hadith, the Prophet said, Verily, one day, the Muslims should conquer Constantinople, and what a beautiful army and commander who should conquer it. Considering this was at a time when the Muslims had been exiled to Medina and did not even control Mecca, let alone control Arabia, to say that these people would be the people who should conquer the capital of the Byzantine Empire, the centre of the world and the largest city in the world, at this time was almost considered impossible. However, in less than 40 years after the Prophet wasallam's death, here were the Muslims, on the gates of the centre of the world, with the Sahaba who hosted the Prophet وسلم, in his own home. At this time, Ayyub al-Ansari was over 80 years old and was well aware that this expedition could be his last. During the battle, Ayyub al-Ansari fell ill and while on his deathbed was asked if he needed anything. This Sahaba who had lived for almost 80 years, final words were Convey my salam salutations to the Muslim armies and say to them, Abu Ayyub urges you to march deeply into the territory of the enemy, as far as you can go, that you should carry him with you, and that you should bury him under the, your feet at the walls of Constantinople. He then said the Shahada, and then he breathed his last. In 1453, during the conquest of Constantinople, over 750 years after Abu Ayyub al-Ansari's death, the grave of the Sahaba was miraculously discovered and it is still standing today in Istanbul with the Ayyub Mosque. This is the story of the Sahaba buried in Istanbul, whose name was Abu Ayyub al-Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the host of the Prophet.